For the second time in two weeks, a young Minnesotan has pleaded guilty to trying to join ISIS. 20 year old Zachariah Abdurrahman is one of seven young friends who was set to face trial on terror charges. In a courtroom surprise, he outed the up till now secret confidential informant in the case. WCCO's Esme Murphy was in that court in Minneapolis today. She joins us now. Pretty big surprise, Esme? Well, it certainly was, Amelia. Zachariah Abdurrahman named the informant when he was asked who his co conspirators are. Now, this confidential informant's name is Abdi Rahman Bashir. He was a close friend of all these young men and part of the plot to go to Syria to join ISIS. That is, until last January, when he began secretly recording his friends' conversations for the FBI. It was the secret recordings of the seven young men made by the informant Abdi Rahman Bashir that provided some of the most damning evidence against all seven. So far, Abdi Rahman Bashir has been paid more than $40,000 by the FBI, a fact that has enraged many in the Somali community. In one of the recordings, Zachariah Abdurrahman can be heard saying he would never be de radicalized and predicted he'd be going to prison. Today in court, Zachariah Abdurrahman admitted he tried to get on a plane with the eventual destination of Syria in May of 2014. He said he and others in the group were in contact with ISIS fighters who were helping them with their travel plans and that the group's goal was to join the fight. And he admitted he lied to FBI agents when he told them his final destination was Greece. Zachariah Abdurrahman said he was first attracted to ISIS because he believed the group was helping the oppressed people of Syria. But he admitted even after he learned of the beheadings and other atrocities, he still wanted to join ISIS. The seven young defendants had argued they had been entrapped by their friend turned informant. But today, Zachariah Abdurrahman said to the judge, I was not entrapped. Now, by pleading guilty, Zachariah Abdurrahman now faces up to 15 years in prison. Now, he could have faced as many as 30 years. Now, the name, the identity of this informant, Abdi Rahman Bashir, was going to be made public in January. But clearly, as a result of what happened in court today, it is already out there. And Esme, you said that the government paid the informant $40,000. The Somali community is upset about that. Since he was part of the original plot, will he also face charges? Well, Amelia, the U.S. Attorney's Office is not commenting on that. In every other case I've covered, informants, even if they do everything the FBI and prosecutors want them to do, they do eventually get charged and do get a greatly reduced prison sentence. All right, Esme, thank you. And stay with WCCO4 News for continuing coverage of the Minnesota terror recruitment cases.